Welcome to Canadian PGA TV. Jeff Dykeman here alongside defending champion, Mr. Kyle German of uh, Point Roberts Golf Club out in uh, beautiful Washington. And uh, you're back here uh, defending your title. Uh, how do you feel so far? Uh, good. You know, it's it's great weather. It's warm. It's a little bit humid. Um, most importantly, I'm playing golf in November. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, not something normal for us West Coasters. So it's great. I love being out here. Now, uh, last year it was cold, it was windy, and uh, you prevailed in the in the event. This year we've been down here so far, and it's practice rounds and 85 degrees and hardly any wind. It's almost a totally different golf course. Yeah, I really, uh, we went out and played our practice round yesterday, and I was saying to one of the guys I'm playing with, Jeff, I'm like, you know, I, he hasn't played here before. He's trying to say, where do I go here? And I'm like, I have no idea. And I'm like, last year this was 35 into the wind. I, I couldn't tell you yeah. where to go now. Yeah. I'm like, the sight lines are all different, aiming points are different. Uh, the shots being received in the greens, it's its a totally different golf course now. Now, you've been down here, uh, I believe it was your fifth year in a row playing, had some great finishes, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously winning last year as well, but uh, what is it about coming here to PJ Golf Club? Uh, what's so special about this place? Uh, you know what? First off, it's the, the commitment from the CPGA and uh, Titleist to cushion it. I mean, what they've done for us is, is just outstanding. Um, it's obviously great being down here. The facility here is, I mean, if you haven't been here, get down here. It's world class, three great golf courses. The staff the friendly, are so friendly. People are great, um, and they just they just take care of you. It's just a great week. Now, uh, last year, obviously, you won and uh, came with it was exemption to the Cane Open, mm -hmm. which uh, phenomenal experience, I'm sure. Uh, uh, what was it like to go down to uh, Glen Abbey last year and play in the event, and uh, how important was it for you to get there and represent the Canadian PGA? Uh, well, I mean, first off, it was a dream come true. I mean, yeah. growing up, that's what you always dream of doing, and you know, you get to the point where sometimes you just think it's never going to happen, and so it was. I mean, obviously, it was the whole year from last November until July. It was. Uh, I was just on pins and needles the whole year, so it was great. And then just being there, I was just trying to, you know, I didn't obviously play as well as I'd hoped, but I was just trying to represent the CPJ well, and, and, and hopefully I did that. And, uh, you know, it was, like I said, dream come true, awesome experience. Now, were you trying to taunt some guys that were out there on tour saying, you know, let's see you fold a shirt or let's see you uh, ma manage a cart fleet? Uh, were you trying to taunt some guys and uh, trying to compare your job to their job? Uh, no, the closest I got to that was... Uh, some of the guys I played with, uh, Matt Wyberg and Will Collins, they showed up the second day. And they're both Titleist guys, and they have the Peter Millar contracts, and they both showed up with the exact same exact same outfit, and they were saying it was the second time in two weeks they'd done it, and they both had just taken their clothes out of their wrappers. I'm like, yeah, okay, and that's when I really, really realized it was a different world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, it's been uh, it's been a full year. I'm sure maybe it seems like maybe two weeks, or maybe it feels like two years since you've been back here last, but... Uh, an oh, entire year of support from I know the people at Point Roberts, the staff, uh, the members, the clients, customers. Uh, what's that been like for you? Uh, it's been phenomenal. I mean, the, the staff at Point Roberts and the, the, the regular players, it's, I mean, they talk about it constantly. So it's been great for me. I mean, every once in a while I'll come in and there's a new picture or a new plaque or something hanging on the wall where they've just decided to throw something up and it's, you know, I, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to do that myself, but right. it's the the shop is getting a little overrun actually. Yeah. Uh, but it's been great, and uh, you know, I'm getting texts and Facebook messages and phone calls and everyone from back home at work, and it's just it's great. They they've been so good to me. It's been great. Well, Kyle, you've been a great ambassador for us for the whole entire year, and uh, did a great job at the Cane Open there. And next year, it's going to be at St. George's, and uh, hopefully, we can do it again. So uh, play well this week and see what happens. Thanks. Yeah, I would. Uh, I played St. George's once, and I would absolutely love to get back there. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.